When it comes to startups, fundraising is often just part of the furniture. It's something that, as a founder, you might just expect to do. So today, I want to dive into the differences between seed funding and Series A round of funding. My name is Amanda Rabideau, founder and CEO of Arch Collective. Arch Collective is a marketing agency specifically targeting B2B tech marketing companies. So with all that, let's dive in. Funding is the lifeblood of many tech startups. Unless you or your co-founder have sufficient independent funds to get your concept off the ground, it's very likely that you'll need to rely on external investors. Over 14,000 startup companies were funded in 2022. That is an increase from over 20,000 tech startup companies being funded in 2021. Investors are becoming more cautious and more discerning about what companies they invest in. So the more you can understand these early stages of fundraising, the better prepared you'll be for meeting and attracting those investment dollars as these marketplaces become more crowded and more competitive. So let's talk about seed funding. Seed round of funding is the first round of funding that you'll receive from venture capital investors, commonly called VCs. As your business is in its early stages, you'll expect your fundraising dollars to come from micro VCs or angel investors who have a particular interest in your niche or industry. The amount of money here will depend on a variety of factors. What's really important to know is that these investors are exchanging their money or funding for equity in your business. They will essentially own a portion of the stock in your company. This is true of all funding rounds. So founders, you need to be cautious about how much ownership you're going to seed in return for their investment. Seed funding can be used for a lot of different things, but typically there are a few things that it goes towards. Addressing initial costs of setting up your tech startup company, investing in bringing your concept into reality, so building out that product or your MVP, and of course, for branding and creating marketing strategies that will attract further investment later on. Once you've closed your seed funding round, what comes next? Series A. Let's dive into Series A funding. When companies can demonstrate some success, profit, or an amazing marketing plan, they can attract investors in their Series A round of funding. Series A is often talked about with regards to product market fit. Product market fit means that your target audience or ICP is finding value and your product, your solution, solving a need that they have. Series A funding may come from larger, more established venture capital firms. It also may come from individual investment professionals, or you still may get some of your funding from angel investors. Tech startup companies that can create an amazing pitch deck, showing off compelling figures and audience engagement are more likely to get investors to take on the risk of investing at them at this stage. Overall, Series A funding should bring in more money than seed funding. How you use that money, just like seed funding, it can vary from company to company. However, common uses for Series A include hiring out and building your team, investing more in your product, expanding your product offerings, and of course, investing in marketing and business growth. You can learn more about other rounds of funding beyond seed stage and series A by watching this video. Whether it's seed stage or series A, you wanna be sure to attract investors the right way. So let's talk about that for a moment. Investors are always taking on risk when they pump money into unproven startup companies. That's why there's such a high reward or return for their investments. However, you can encourage them to take that risk by doing five things. One, define your business goals and vision early. Two, build your brand. Three, seek investors that know and understand your industry. Four, build a network of fans and enthusiastic clients that can increase brand awareness for you. And five, investing in proven marketing strategies. Venture capital hit some real highs in 2020 and 2021, but it was a very different picture in 2022, and it's already a very different picture in 2023. Just to give you an idea of the numbers, let me talk you through them. By Q4 of 2022, 
Investments in startup companies had dropped by 14%. Already in 2023, year over year, we've seen venture capital investments drop by 50%. That is a huge decrease in investments. The good news, the money is still there. You just have to be smart about how you go out and you get the investors to invest in your business and not another one. So while there are plenty of opportunities out there, make sure that your story and your marketing and your messaging are on point to attract the right investors. A great app or a great platform is always the best way to start. But regardless of how great those things may be, you still need great marketing to grow and promote your business. Book a 15 minute call with one of us at Arch Collective and we can talk to you about how we can get your company to the next stage of business funding so you can keep growing from there. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.